Dev, I mean, yeah, Dev, being Dev, Swedish. Dev is Swedish, but he is basically, he lives in the UK now. Yeah, playing on Team England, so. And are we in? Steve-O. Steve-O. Okay, yeah, this is a German player, right? I believe. German Falco. That's the impression I was under. Okay, well, let's see how... This is one thing that um, it's a bit of a it's it's a bit of a joke that the, the Scot the Scottish players say, but they say they have very little fat. They say that if you want to beat Scotland, you play yes, Falco yeah. because the, because um, Scotland really is kind of starved of a lot of Falcos by comparison to yes, the rest of the UK. Rest of yeah. yeah, no, there's uh, there's a couple, but none of that, that's all the higher end of uh, the main game. But Stevo at the moment looks like he's yeah he's exploiting that certainly. He's, this is some. This punch Sh game has really just been a level above time muffins looking at the start. Time muffin got a little chain grab at the start, but wasn't able to convert into a kill. Oh, I guess that's yeah, that's punishing. He nods his head though. He said, "All right, all right." That he doesn't look like these. That's frustrated him too much. Yeah. But, but yeah. shines picking up time muffin again, and uh, he's just really not able to escape these combos. Steve-O is showing that I think he really he, he seems to have a lot more familiarity and and. Um, he needs, seems to be a lot more comfortable in the matchup. Yeah, definitely. Time off and forces him towards the edge, but it looks like he's trying yeah. to do fancy double shine pressure, and Steve just rolls in. Yeah. Yeah. If I if I were time up in right now, I think I think I I try to. He's trying to slow it down a little bit, I think, just so he can get a, a handle on what his opponent is doing. But yeah. Steve's not laying up. I think he's trying to fight Steve too much, which is like obviously easy to do. You know, if Falco's shooting you, you can't really camp him, but. Oh. You've got to try and lay some traps. You can't just run in, charge at yeah. Falco. That was quite smart as well, actually, because after two um, after two lasers, he was expecting another attempt at um, side B and down smashed for it. But um, but time up in. He went for the up B, but this time Stevo was ready. Stevo yeah. showing that he can adapt really quickly. Um, yeah, that, that, that was, was that was really not, impressive. Not the sort of laser F smash that you want to take in the face. Well, Are you sure this guy isn't the first team before? I'm, it would make a lot this of sense to be watching. Oh yeah, it probably is. Then. Maybe uh, just about the second season. Yeah. Yeah, Steve-O, definitely no joke. Player, I had heard of him before as well. You know, didn't know he's a time up before. Ooh, yeah. Cool. yeah. And this was time up in his cow pick. A lot of, honestly, though Fox can chain grab Falco here, a lot of, a lot of Falcos do actually quite enjoy FD. Yeah, a lot do. I feel like... Uh, Honestly, if you both have good enough punish games, it really comes down to the neutral because both characters can comfortably zero to death. So it's like, you know, yeah. if you're both on that level, then your punish game is fair. So this stage really comes down to a question of neutral game. Yeah. And the f uh, yeah, I've, I've seen Falco's counter big boxes here before. Yeah, I've seen it go like, both ways. When they're comfortable in their shine juggles, then. And it's like nothing uh, Time Muffin really did in the first set convinced uh, Stevo that he was really worried about the chain grab or that he needed to ban FD. Yeah. Yeah, his um he was as you said before, he was definitely getting outclassed in terms of the punish game. Yeah, see look at this. He, Stevo's edge guarding actually so far has been I say that, he lets him back on. Yeah, but, but he, he still holds the stage and yeah. like I think he's gonna end yeah. up taking the stock without taking much yeah. more hits anyway. He's shown that he's re yeah. yeah. His, his edge guarding has been really Really relentless. He's been putting up a wall the entire time. Yeah, really. And for, and Time Muffin just hasn't been able to break his way through. Yeah, gets in once with a full hop, but yes, oh, this oh, good match because he was going to face, face a nice nasty back throw 50-50 there. This could have been uh, Curtis that stock even at such a low percent. Okay, he misses his, uh, his shine juggle. I think that it's Time Muffin's time to shine. Well, time to up throw at least. Yep. Oh, no, I think that was an up tilt, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. That was the kind of awkward uh, mid DI behind, which is like in between dash back yeah. and grab and turn around and grab. Yeah. Gives that really awkward input for range. Steve-O again in showing that he's very familiar in the matchup. He's used to being chain grabbed yeah. and knows how to get out of it. Also, Time Muffin so far has shown that he's, he's, had, he's shown no real um, answer to uh, Steve-O's just con control of the neutral with lasers. Yeah, yeah. He, like, if you if you pick the stage, you need to be ready to count to a power shield, right? At least occasionally. Because, like, if you if you can't show that you power shield, it just gives the Falco that freedom to just shoot however many lasers they want, right? Mm. 
Because if you just make a statement, you just power shield one and then you get a grab on it, Falco's going to think twice. It gives you a, like, a much better hold of the neutral game. That was a really good shine, though. Yeah, definitely. Time Muffin has brought this back now with a couple. He's actually done a. He did a nice edge guard in, um, the se in uh, Steelo's second stock, and that was a even nicer edge guard there, which may have just gotten, gotten the momentum he needs to take the second yeah, game. Nice little tech chase. Off Woo! Oh, oh, let's no. monster there. Stage. Oh, and the Time oh, Muffin is okay, off stage. Okay, okay. Very scrappy ending here. Steelo looks a little bit shaken. Goes straight back to the stage. Time that Muffin reads the low. Yeah. Okay, good DI. Off stage again, but there ooh, you go, and he takes game away. two. Yeah, Time Muffin honestly kind of stealing that game away there. It looks like he was after, had quite a deficit. Yeah, after the second stock, he really pulled the momentum back in his favor, and all the confidence returned. Yeah. His edge guards looking cleaner, his punish game looking yeah, yeah. much cleaner. As a Fox main, that's one of the reasons I don't mind picking FD against the Falco. Even if they got the combos, you can know that any stocks, the deficit you have, you can make up because that punish game. Isn't yeah. relying on like 50-50s on platforms. You can just get the guaranteed follow-ups, mm, and it absolutely. looks like that's what Fraser was thinking about there. It was time up it was said. Look at Steve. Steve-O looks a little bit shaken right now. He's just like, what? What, what just happened? Yeah. I was, I was, I was destroying this guy, and then, and then I yeah, got, I, I got bodied. I saw him do a little nod after he got shine spade going down to one stock, just to sort of like, uh, okay, yeah, this guy's got some tricks. Though. Yeah, I respect him, but yeah. we should play better, and we'll, we'll win. But the this end. is the thing, like. He, I think he was playing the first, the first game in the second half, the first half of the second game. Excuse me, not showing that much respect to Time Muffin because he's because because so far he just thought, okay, this guy is isn't able to to. to, to if I just steamroll this guy, I'm not sure he's actually going to have. Yes. But right now, he's probably going to be showing a little bit more respect. Definitely. Now that uh, Time Muffin's been put on such high percentage, he's been warming him out with areas yeah. really. And this is going to play right into Time Muffin's favor if uh, if Steve-O is going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. But that, yeah, okay. that's going to be it. Yeah, no DI is going to save you there. Right now. Oh, Time Muffin gets caught coming off the platform with a kind of lazy downer there. Yeah. I think um, one one thing you notice certainly about European players. Uh, for those of you, is that they are very content to be very, very patient. That was nice, that, though. Yes, it was really. That was that was the same edge guard attempt that he tried uh, in game one, and got uh, got meteor with yeah. the side before it. But this time he, he said, "No, I'm going to shine you as well." I'm yeah. gonna... That one was right on the borderline of not working as well, but he managed to connect it just shine, just reaching the Falcon's yeah. body there. What's he's up being? And time muffin is one of the hardest working players, I'd say, in the UK right now in terms of improvement. He is a real grinder. And he is showing that this could be, this could, yeah, this could be really big for him. Yeah, definitely. He's going up now. Steve-O is, yeah, he's taking a moment. He's thinking, wait, wait where did this set go? Yeah. yeah, exactly, you know. The story for him in this set was coming in thinking, okay, I'm gonna win this set. First game kind of, reinforces that belief then in game two he thinks it's going like that and suddenly everything gets changed up you know it just yeah. oh. changes the narrative in your mind and suddenly okay. you realize you're fighting a losing battle that was a really nice um, sh um shine to reverse spike though mm -hmm. he's that's what he needed to uh, perhaps maintain a little bit more of his confidence but he's still like he's still hanging on the edges firing lasers just thinking yeah. okay how i really don't want to let this guy get in again because actually his punish game is looking pretty crisp right now yeah and if he's just gonna like try to do that, he's becoming a lot more passive. And yes, yeah, he's, he's not gonna pull the momentum back that way, basically, until Time Muffin gives him a reason to. Well, Steve-O does find an opening here, and this should be an edge guard situation. Nice tech, even yeah. though it was a bit of an awkward situation there from Time Muffin. Good shot, smart stuff from Time Muffin. Ooh, nice little use of the shield stop there to turn yeah, around. Turn on that back air and put it right time up his face. I don't like that side B at all. That was that was just thinking I can't be I can't deal with being lazy again. I think he's gonna deal with I think he's gonna take me out. Nice though. And this is a uh, last Shaking game last stop. Steve and then a nod afterwards, you know? That's the I'm a frustrated and then the nod of okay. There's quite a, there's quite a lot of UK players behind, quite a lot of Scots watching this. Yeah, definitely, uh Professor Pro as well. A few Professor of the other Pro. UK lot. Oh, Steve-O is taking all the momentum. Really has oh, just that, him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was two-one over time up. Yeah, good stuff to Steve-O. Time up, though. That was a really good adaptation. He 
that was looking pretty free until until he, he just turned up the Jets. And yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Made a statement.